Theo's pasta dough is now out of the fridge and ready to be rolled. It's a beautiful machine, isn't it? There, there's nothing better, better than, than that yeah. machine. Theo rolls the dough through the pasta machine, narrowing the rollers bit by bit until he's on the thinnest setting. That's our side dish. This is a good measure of the size we want. So that's going to give us two nice sheets. Yeah. And that'll sit in there. Perfect. Look at that. Perfect. Yeah. It would probably stretch a bit. Just two of these. Another one that there. And pop that in the water. So that's going to go in the water. So just Great, salted boiling water and then pop it in. And we don't want to cook it too much because we want it to cook with the sauce. So just pop it in. Theo then refreshes the pasta in ice water to stop it cooking and then drains. He drizzles olive oil onto the pasta to prevent it drying out. Back to Francesco's lasagna pasta china. You see the ragu has been cooking for a couple of hours. It just slowly, slowly, it's basically talking to you now. Really slow cook, OK? Francesco has also made a basic bechamel sauce with just flour, butter and milk. Then I cook for, you know, 15, 20 minutes, all right? Francesco is ready to assemble his lasagna. Like Theo, he's also using fresh pasta, which he has blanched and refreshed. And the way I do is uh, basically like this. He starts by layering two sheets of pasta in an oven-proof dish and folds the sides over the edges of the dish. I'm going to add a little bit of bechamel here, around. OK, a bit of ragu here and some lovely polpettine here. Mozzarella here. Put some basil here, then, you see, Eggs as well. Mm -hmm. no? Nice and rich. Just crush your eggs by hand. Hard-boiled egg is an essential layer in any southern Italian lasagna. OK, yeah. this lovely aubergine, which should be fried. Parmigiano, not so much. Mm. Just, you know, there's a lot of cheese going on here, OK? Yeah. And then carry on with the sheet. Francesco repeats the process for another layer and then folds the pasta over. The reason we do this is that nothing will, a part of this age, nothing will go hot. All the flavour, all the juice that we stay there, again, mm. so for the pasta. Then it's a final layer of bechamel and ragu. And to give a lovely gratin, we just put a bit of butter on top, just, you know, a few flakes of butter all around. Francesco finishes with a grating of parmesan and bakes his lasagna in the oven at 185 degrees for 25 minutes, before moving to one which has already cooked and cooled. This one is going to go back in the oven again now because I like to cook my lasagna twice. 25 minutes first, okay, then interesting. rest completely, yeah. and then 25 minutes again, and then we serve. For the simple reason that I want the, all the layer and the juice of the lasagna to be perfect. OK? So this one back in the oven again. So is that, is that room temperature or is it actually cold? This one is cold. OK. OK, cold. Interesting. Will Francesco's twice-cooked method give his dish the edge? Time for Theo to assemble his lasagna. He starts by removing the greaseproof paper and bay leaf from his bechamel. And then uh, a yeah. couple of egg yolks in. Uh, just pass me the parmesan. Yes, of course. And the nice thing about egg yolks is it, when it cooks, it's going to kind of have a lovely sort of... Like you put eggs in yours, it's yeah. going to have a... Exactly, yeah, kind of flavor. a different and way, yeah. Put, on the top, it's going to sort of like slightly souffle up, so you yeah. have this sort of... Um, little slightly sort of crispy, puffy top, which is what yeah. I want. Anyway, so we just put some parmesan in. It's really important that you get a good flavour in the bechamel. It's almost yeah. like having a stock. You know, it should be well seasoned, it should have flavour. You know, there's a bit of nutmeg in there, there's yeah, the, bay leaf, the bay leaf, cheese, a bit I mean, of parmesan, yeah. and then I fold that in together. So that's the sort of base of our lasagna. Theo seasons his bechamel with salt and he's then ready to assemble his lasagna in an oiled dish. Pasta goes in. Don't mind a few edges, you want to trim it up slightly. Just so it's nice and neat. OK, and then first... Layer of bechamel, spoon for ragu, and then a little bit of parmesan. And then I'm going to do just the bechamel on top. So, not too much, but enough to give it a nice sort of smooth finish. And finish off with a good grating of parmesan. Just see that lovely. Bellissima. Look at that. Theo then pops his lasagna in the oven for 40 minutes at 160 degrees. And this one has been in for that long. Yeah, I think my one is ready also. Should I take my one? Oh, look at that. Nice and crispy, Theo. And then both chefs are ready to serve. Uh, look at that. There you go, my. Uh... Perfect, classic, 
lasagna dish. Merry nice Christmas. Beautiful. Well, there's my perfect classic lasagna dish. Maybe it's just beef, pancetta and tomatoes. Time for the chefs to find out which classic lasagna is perfect. It's my turn. Your turn. Aye, aye. Lasagna pastachina tree, lasagna zero. Zero. Sorry, mate. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Yours was very good, I must say. Yeah. It's very uh, good. The judges liked the richness of Theo's lasagna, but they were looking for a really authentic dish, and for them, Francesco's classic southern Italian lasagna pastachina ticked all the boxes and was a real taste of home.